time for iHeartRadio Live with Tenacious D. Here's your host, Emily Curl. Hey everyone, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio, and welcome back to my virtual studio here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, I am so excited. We have some very special guests. We will be joined by Jack Black and Kyle Gass, a.k.a. Tenacious D, a.k.a. the greatest band in the world. Let's bring them in. We have Kyle Gass. Hi, Kyle. Hello. Jack Black, I see. Jack. Have you seen? Oh, wow. Oh, Guys, hey, sorry I'm late. I did not see you there. Man, I just man, got man. in. I've been That's out amazing. and about in Hollywood, doing a lot of Hollywood deals. <laughs> of course. Hollywood Jack? I'm back. <laughs> I was Jack painting the Hollywood sign. It needed a fresh coat. Of course. <laughs> looking a little... Thank you. Such a good citizen. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> Thank you. Wait. Love, love seeing you guys. So nice to meet you both. A lot to discuss, a lot to talk about. But I thought before we get into that, we have to start out with the most important thing to discuss in the entire interview. And Jack, that is your recent TikTok that is going absolutely oh. viral. <laughs> We need to discuss the WAP dance because, for one, I have so many questions. Kyle, I'm sorry. Look, it's not my fault. I I recently dropped some viral content. Um, I saw it early. I saw it before before the internet was broken. I saw. Kyle doesn't like it when we focus just on my personal glory, (laughs) my conquests of the internet. (laughs) I guess it's true. I broke the internet again. (laughs) You're a trailblazer. We learn from your example. Kyle, my question for you is: What was your reaction when you first saw that clip? I knew it. I just I I doffed the cap. I just I shook my head and. You did it again, sir. You did it again. Here's my secret: is uh, speedos. Uh, it's time. It's time to put them back on, and embrace the uh, the vulnerability that is speedo. We lost that bit of uh, culture. Yeah, I think uh, speedos have been left in the dust, but they're still available. They're still on the shelf. You can buy them. You can wear them, and you can get a lot more uh, likes and clicks. It's clickbait. Now, Jack, who was actually? Sp- spraying you in the video that was my son tommy uh you know we're in quarantine times pandemic times uh the family that uh posts together uh boasts together i like the hula hoop that was great the hula hoop video. oh that's my wife yeah we did that the one before i've always i've always admired the hula hoop can't do it myself yeah, my body's not built for hula hooping either. I tried really hard. There was a time I was able to hula hoop, but I think my my uh, my midsection got too big. <laughs> yeah, could be a. Um, so obviously, so Jack, you're on. You're staying creative on TikTok, having fun during this time. Kyle, how are you staying creative during this quarantine? Well, yeah, well, I always have my uh, my guitar, trusty companion, always a friend, uh, and then lots of television. So fun! I love TV. What are you watching right now? Golf, though. Oh. Um, actually watching a funny show, Moonbase 8, with our buddy uh, John C. Riley and uh, Tim Heidecker and um, the other guy, Fred. Fred Armisen. Fred Armisen. Oh, yeah. such a good funny, lineup. Very quirky. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of an all-star lineup. Very funny. Now, for you both, have y'all gotten to see each other and hang out much during quarantine together? Hell no. <laughs> No, we we're Jack not. Jack looks at me and sees a germ. That's all he sees. We're not in a pod. At- I know Kyle lives his life on the wild side. I yeah, I don't know where he's been. I am. But uh, I love anything. him. And I do. I do talk to him. We talk to each other often. But mm. also, I'd like to give a quick shout out. Uh, Kyle also is active on Instagram, and for all of y'all that are looking for some extra fun content, go to the actual Kyle Gas at Instagram. Uh, and you, you'll have loads of, of fun and laughs and, and music, nice. great stuff. Okay. Try to, uh, try to, I have I have a, I have a check, so you know. Don't He's got a check mark. He's official. It's important. It's, important. Yeah, it's really well, it's one of the great uh, yeah. The, the check mark makes it so you don't have to say the actual Kyle Gas because the check mark. Yeah, you just yeah you type it in. It's confirmed. It. Has there ever been an imposter that got a check? that was not supposed to. We'll find out. <laughs> not that I'm aware. Uh, yes. So let's talk, let's transition. I want to talk a little bit about music. Time Warp, your single music video out now. And the music video has such a stellar lineup. Jamie Lee Curtis, King Princess, Elizabeth Warren, Phoebe Bridgers, Susan Sarandon, just to name a few. Now that you're counting, you're making me nervous. Tell me, how did this lineup come to be? I mean, it's such an insane cast. So fun to watch. 
I mean, look, we basically, we just asked everyone that we could think of that, uh, that is like an inspirational hero of of these times and this particular movement and you know that song is is super uh like uh trans positive i guess i i guess you could say uh it, it was the og uh anthem of lgbtq before they even started saying the letters back in the 70s i remember i saw that movie when i was a kid with my sister i was like i don't know what i was like eight or nine, and I went to my sister. My big sister took me to this movie, and people were just going off, and it was a celebration, and everyone was free to be themselves, you know. Because way back in the day, everyone was in the. If you were in the closet, you were mostly in the closet. It was a uh, more conservative times, right, Cage? Uh oh yeah, no, it was uh, a much different time. So we wanted to pick celebs that like fit in with that kind of movement. Uh, to say, hey, let's champion this cause and and uh, and let's rock the vote for the LGBTQ community. I don't think we ever actually said that out loud, but I think that that's what we were doing, right, Cage? Uh, yeah, it was hard at first. I think John Waters was the first one to send in. Uh, John Waters threw uh, down, and that was like <laughs> that was rad because he, he's such he, an icon. And we're like, hey, we got John Waters. If you want to be involved, it's going to be a cool thing. And Susan Sarandon was a big one because she's in the original cast. Yeah. yeah. And she's also like a pretty spicy political figure because you remember last time she did not support Hillary and well, people like still hold a grudge. But we were like, no, it's time to bring everyone together for a, a bigger cause. Healing begin. Mm. Yeah, they let the healing begin. Mm. It's the only way we could win if we let the healing begin. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Kyle. What were you saying? That's like, no, I was just like, Emily Curl, she's your girl. Or what's your uh, moniker? That's a really good one. Oh, you like that? It's your girl, yeah. Emily Curl? Mm hmm. Anything that rhymes. <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> um, with iHeartRadio. Um, now, you had originally planned, Tenacious State had originally planned to rock the vote in swing states on tour this fall for the upcoming election. Mm -hmm. You know, even though that time has passed, we're still in full blown quarantine. Can we anticipate something like this from you both in the future? Well, you know, next year is our twentieth anniversary of oh, our uh, of our uh, eponymous seminal debut album. That's right. And so, to answer your question, uh, yeah, we are going. I mean, that tour that we had planned was very specific to the swing states, to the purple nurple, twisting hard to the left. So, yeah, I guess you could plan on seeing us in around 2022 for the <laughs> midterms, maybe 2024, if we want to do okay. a purple okay. nurple. I think it's, it's a fun like, idea, and I was I love really the looking idea. forward to playing those those states. But um, maybe or yeah, maybe we're like the Olympics, just every four years. Yeah. <laughs> But Kyle brings up a good point. Next next year is a is a the twentieth anniversary of our first album, and uh, we do plan on doing something. I don't think we're going to do a full tour, but I don't. You don't, we don't really know. There's supposed to be a vaccine coming no. in April or maybe sooner. What's the What's the deal? What is What's Fauci, Fauci say? Fauci says April. We're all just. Does Fauci say we can go ahead and book well, a tour say, for April? <laughs> he's saying celebrity should be like first in line. I think he didn't say that. Oh, that was me. Oh, man, now you're trying to what? fire up. I want, no, somebody try it out first, and then I'll do it. And then you take it. See, that's um, the weird thing. They say, hey, we got a vaccine. And you go, me first, wait, uh, no, no, me second. No, no one knows if they it's want it fine. now or later. <laughs> that's an amazing percentage, though, 90 and 94. I know, it's really that's wild. Like, you're getting A's. That's an A and an A plus, practically. Pfizer and Moderna. Is there another one that's waiting to unveil their 99 percenter? Who else is in uh, the game? I'm going to say Bayer. What about Bill Gates? I've <laughs> got 100 percent and I just figured it out with computers. <laughs> um, now, I want to touch on the 20th anniversary, like you mentioned, next yeah. fall. If you could go back to the very beginning of Tenacious D, knowing where you are now, and give yourselves one piece of advice before you got started on this journey, what would it be? Oh, just save all your memorabilia. It's going to be really uh, You did well, though. No, Kate. I did pretty good. I you thought a great I did save a lot of stuff long. just in case. All of my stuff is, I'm, I'm not a saver, and I wish I was because. You're uh, not, Jack? You have some I'm good glad that all stuff. It only takes one band member to be a saver. So, uh, you know, uh, Kyle, Kyle, 
thankfully has the museum. I'll be the archivist of the D. I'm going to have to make an appointment with Kyle, though, if I ever want to get into that museum. I'm opening the museum soon. <laughs> the museum. But, uh, yeah, I don't have any real advice for uh, young Tenacious D because mm. uh, I just love our journey. Our hero's journey was so magical and glorious and continues to be. Yeah. What would I change? No yeah. advice. Watch out for the white flower, I'm going to say. <laughs> What's hey, that? What's that? <laughs> What's that? Is that heroin? Carbs. No. <laughs> oh, carbs, right. <laughs> no, I thought you were like talking about some kind of, like a poppy flower or something. Hey, wait, 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 cocaine? <laughs> You're talking about carbs. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Come on. Well, the refined. You know, I think that's so one of those le- that's one of those bits of advice that I, I'll never take as hard as I try. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good. No, we all miss live music so much. I feel like that's been one of the big things in quarantine that I've just been, I cannot wait to go to a show or a concert. I'm curious for you both. When you think back on the span of your career and your journey and the shows that you've played, is there one vivid concert memory that stands out to you that's just like you go back there in your mind when you're missing live music? Mm. Wow. Mm. I mean, the one that always pops up instantly is Germany, although it, it was bittersweet because on the one hand, it was the biggest concert we'd ever played to like over a hundred thousand people. And it was an incredible audience. But at the same time, Kyle had this intense, like a uh, thing happen where he had like Bell's palsy. We found and out he didn't later. know it was Bell's palsy. It was like, what's happening to Kyle? Yeah. Is he dying? We got to go on stage. No, we're canceling the show. And Kyle's like, no, the show must go on. Let's go. Uh, I was, uh, there. And we played the terrible. show. Yeah. I, I got to you be. You played the here. show? You played it? I yes, did. Yes, it was a heroic, it was a heroic event. No, it and, was uh, big, this Rock'em Ring is like, it's like quarter million people. Yes, around. and people would talk about it. And Kyle, it, you know, it's ironic, but of all the joy that that brought, Kyle was suffering through it all in a horrible way. No, but it was I, ha- I have to it. say, it was that one. That's the one that comes that's to mind. You, Jack. What but, about uh, you, Kyle? Would you say the same one? Well, I, I don't think you would say the same one. <laughs> Which one would you not say? Not in my defense. I was thinking, geez, it was a big payday, too. I was like, God, I got to, yeah, we got to get uh, through this one. Um, a show? Uh, you know, the uh, play in the Sydney Opera House mm. was pretty fun. And that was, was just you and me. Yeah, it was a two-man show, but I've, I've always um, been a fan of the building. Mm. Nice to get inside and play such you a You know what play. a fun one was, too? Uh, when we did that one, we always have good shows in, in England and Austin, Texas, dude. You know what? That might be one of my favorites. Really? Ones. Really? Well, Austin, Texas. That's just a great, incredible Chicago. crowd. Chicago's I get been it. pretty good. Chicago crushes. Yeah. yeah. But you know what's interesting? I mentioned the biggest audience we ever had, but the best crowds and the best energy is always in the smaller venues, more intimate, mm. when you can look out and you can see the faces of everyone in the, in the room. And yeah. there's no jumbotron. They're just looking right at you on the Direct stage. Direct eye contact, ready to go. We played some pretty wild shows at uh, House of Bl- various House of Blues. That's true. We did a House of Blues no, tour. I think they're all, it's all closed now, isn't it? Are there still any open? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's a good Chris question. Lutton. Remember uh, that time we played with uh, Dave Grohl at uh, what was that festival? It was like a, it was a video game festival, and we were like, "Hey, Dave, will you come down and?" Oh yeah, this? yeah. What was that dumb game? <sighs> yeah, world. Was it? Remember Joe Beebe tried to get us to play his World, world of Warcraft? Warcraft? Yeah, BlizzCon. BlizzCon. Convention called BlizzCon. Yeah, that was, I think, Dave's, uh, that's the only time he played a whole set with us. That's the only time. And he came down. Stop. Did we even have a rehearsal? We must have had a rehearsal. I think we had one rehearsal. That's the thing with Dave. You can't get him for much no. time. He's like, I remember. He's like, yeah, I'll I remember do it. I wanted to look at him and rock out with him, but I got too nervous every time I looked at him. I was like, oh. Really? <laughs> I was like, I want to be rocking here with Dave. But that no, was that's- a special show, dude. Come on. That's one for the ages there. Uh, I love that. 
such good memories. And now- we, could, we could actually stretch this out and talk about all the shows we've done. We could do that for probably 28 hours in a row without we stopping. We could. We shouldn't. I heart interviews. No I one would want to watch that interview. Different. But you and I could really reminisce. It's one of me and Kyle's best thing subjects is just reminiscing. Oh, and, uh, and Kyle that time when we rocked that one time. <laughs> and reminiscing. Um, I love the reminiscing, but I also want to talk about the you had the film, the album, the tour, and you also have a recent graphic novel release post Apocalypto out now. And now you said you came up with this project idea four years ago. Who did you have in mind when you were creating this? Well, the cre you know, it was ahead of its time, and critics have pretty much agreed that it's one of the seminal pieces of art in the 21st century. Wow. Toot toot goes our own horn. Yeah. I didn't want to say it, but well, it's a, you know, where did we get the idea? Oh, we just wanted to make a cartoon. It's yeah. a, it's, it is. So it did get reviewed incredibly well in some of the highest publications. Um, the Jablinski times. <laughs> and, uh, I don't get the Kajinsky that Gazette gave it a 10 out of 10 as well. Very, very. But uh, yeah, we always, whenever we played, the, we played shows all around the world to, to promote our rock opera. Mm. And uh, we, uh, we would sit back behind the screen because part of it was like there was a, a movie projection of the rock opera as cartoon characters going through this uh, post-apocalyptic world. It's hard to explain. You had to be there. But <laughs> so a lot of the show, me and Kyle are sitting behind this movie screen while the cartoon's going on. And we would just listen along and, and I would look over to Kyle and I would squeeze his hands. We'd be sitting there and I'd say, we will be remembered for this long after we're dead and gone. And Kyle would just nod his head. And I don't know if he was yeah. nodding in agreement or like, yes, Jack. Okay. <laughs> but remember that time, Cage, when we was back behind the screens? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> so uh, good. But it was, a, it was a fun one to bring to the people. And it was also like a thing that we've always wanted to do, a rock opera in the great tradition of rock operas. So some of our favorite records and music, like The Who, uh, uh, Tommy, uh, Pink Floyd, The Wall. These are like, and there's something so grand and, and uh, like even bigger than a rock show to make an opera. It, it sounds like it's, it's, it's got a more, more heavy gravitas. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like the ultimate in theatrical right. entertainment. Right. I love that. Yeah. And now, okay, so before we let you both go, I thought we could play a little game. It's a fill in the sentence game. So I'm going to tell you the first part of a sentence, and then you both have to fill in the, the last part of the sentence. Just your first thing that comes to your mind. Does it sound good? I'm scared of what I'm yeah. going to say. <laughs> I'm ready for that, Jack. <laughs> All right, here we go. I can't go a day without. Eating me too much. Honey nut Cheerios. It's important <laughs> to get specific, Cage. And <laughs> devil's in the details. How do you not cheer? That's not actually true, by the way. It's just the first thing that came to mind. Oh, ooh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Honey nut okay. Cheerios. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, second one. Kyle, you'll lead us with this one too. The most surprising thing I learned about myself this year is how much I love staying at home. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I'm not same. supposed to, but it's like, well, I kind of. I kind of felt like I was cheating because I'm kind of a homebody anyway. Love that. Jack, what would you say? Um, how much time I can, you know, it's similar. How much time I can spend with myself and just really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same answer, but slightly creepier. <laughs> oh um, okay, so Jack, you'll start first with this one. Yeah. My first concert was... Uh, it, I think it was actually Loverboy. Love Everybody's Boy. working for the weekend. But I like to tell people it was Devo because Devo is way cooler than Loverboy. But uh, Loverboy had that jam. Love it. Where was the show? In Spokane, Washington. And I remember he made a joke out there. He's like, how's everyone doing out in Spokane? 
Spokane. <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah, we love cocaine and we love that. <laughs> yeah. He's been <laughs> Kyle, what would you say? Your first comment? Uh, I believe it was Hart and uh, Robert Palmer was opening. Where was it? Uh, no, at the Concord Pavilion. I know you like it. I like it all the time. That was his big hit at the time. That's why it was opening. Mm. But uh, yeah, Hart. That was fun. Great one. Okay, movie. so. Did they, do, did they do Barracuda? They did all the, the hits. Wait a second. Wait a second. Working for the weekend, 1981. Yeah. And freedom of choice. Emily, what was your first concert? My Ego. first concert was actually Jesse McCartney. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it was a good one in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. He said, you know, I like this. Uh, Guys, I'm sorry. I have to change my answer. It was Devo. Freedom of choice. Uh, okay, great. My, my big to brother know. took me to that concert. A much cooler answer. Devo. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so next one. Jack, you can start with this one. The world needs more of. Apple Pan. <laughs> the best burger joint in Los Angeles. Built in 1940. And uh, yeah, if you haven't tried one, you should eat one. It's not a chain, though. There's only one. There's only gotta, one? Yeah, you got to come to LA. It's on Pico between Westwood and Overland. Kate, you can attest to it. Apple oh, my pan. God, the apple pan? Legendary. Really? Like, uh, yeah. yeah Why is like, it so like, good, Cage? I think it's old-time values. It's, uh, they haven't changed their ways. They believe in... Uh, I like that lettuce that. wedge, that wedge of lettuce, that ice-cold, yeah. like... There's no... Wedge. Iceberg wedge inside, oh, like, uh, yeah. But I don't know. It, that's not a good answer. You can answer now, Kyle. What does the world need more of? What the world needs more is love, sweet love. Uh, yeah, love civility. I think though. Mm. I think I think we just need some more, yeah, courtesy and manners. <laughs> Just the basics. <laughs> Can I change my answer? Sure. No, Jack. I'm sorry. Teamwork. You locked it in. Teamwork. Team. For reals. Yeah. Uh, if we're going to survive as a species, mm. we've got to work together. Yeah. Oh, so true. But I don't like the trajectory of where we're headed. Are we going to have to get a little bit crazy? No, we're never going to survive unless we get a little teamwork. Changed it. Love it. All Sorry, right, here we Steel. go. Next one up. Kyle, you kick us off with this one. The best advice I ever received was. The best advice I ever received was. Um, oh, uh, uh, you, you, you take care of yourself. Getting old is really hard. Hmm. Don't uh, take care of yourself early. No, I didn't heed it, but it's the best advice. I should have. You've always it. been real good with your dental hygiene. I yeah, yeah. Take care. Yeah, take care of your. Always floss. I think. I love that. I wish I would have heeded that say? advice early on. I'm now. I'm really into it because <laughs> it's falling apart. But if I. Well, you're good. a man with regimens now. I mean, now I am. Routine. Really. Dude, my dental hygiene routine is intense. Love the that. flossing every morning. And every night, mm. the tongue scrape, Ooh. the weird plastic thingy between betwixt the chicken and gum. Betwixt the chicken. Anyways, <laughs> best advice I've ever received. I can't think of any. <laughs> no, but it's make it. Uh, um, believe in yourself. Um, keep your feet on the ground. Reach for the stars, but keep your feet on the ground. Don't lie. Don't be a liar. That was a that was a big one that I remember. Um, my dad scolded me for being a liar when I was a kid. Mm. And I remember, yeah. don't be a liar. That was yeah. one of the that was one of the pieces of it. I don't know if it was advice as much as like a a warning. <laughs> Sometimes it's the same thing. All right, here we go. Last two questions. So Kyle, this one's for you first. Yeah. 
My favorite quality about Jack is his loyalty. Very that loyal. sounds like a Trumpian quality. Loyalty. I just <laughs> loyalty. It's the most no. important thing in a person is that they're loyal to me. Oh my God. Okay, Jack, you're up. My favorite quality about Kyle is his loyalty. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Although there are a lot of other bands. When I, as soon as I turn my back, Kyle's making music with another band. <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> the one way street, this loyalty street, it turns out. <laughs> That's too good. Jack Black, Kyle Gass, thank you both so much for being here and for your time. So nice thank to you meet you both. Yeah, you're great. Hey, and- you know what? What? I heart radio. You quit that. <laughs> I heart you guys. Thank you so much for your time. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time on I heart radio live. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.